are y'all? So what's up, man? Y'all see what we got for today's video, man? We got that two-step, man. Uh, we about to go ahead and install this on the car. I'm not necessarily using it for the correct reasons right now. Eventually, later on, I will need it because I'm eventually going to be boosted and everything. But as of right now, we just getting the infamous two-step. I just want to spit some flames out the back of the car. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Just for a one-time thing, for real. Really, just for when we go to like a car meet or a car show or something, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You spin flames, you know what I'm saying? You cool, you know what I'm saying? But that's really the main reason. Just for my personal enjoyment, spitting flames. Till, you know what I'm saying? We start getting serious, we get the boost, you know what I'm saying? We get the slicks on, all kind of stuff. But as of right now, we about to just go ahead and install that two step, man. We about to get that on there. I might just be installing it on this video. So this is gonna be like an installation video. Um, Next video. I'll be having some fun with the two-step. We're doing all kind of crazy stuff with it, so let's get straight into it, man. All right, man. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood, and we're going to unhook the battery, so. Because, as you know, when you unhook the battery, you ain't going to be able to open up doors, all kind of stuff. There go my beast. We got to wipe this thing down. Oh, cooling is getting low over there. Good thing I checked that. Is that getting low? Yeah, that look like cooling getting low over there. Hmm. That's interesting. For y'all that don't know, it's a little trunk button right here. I'm about to unhook the battery. I'll get back to you. All right, now the power is off to the car. From the picture, it seems pretty self-explanatory, I would say. Pictures always look pretty self-explanatory. It didn't show an order, so I'm guessing, you know what I'm saying, it don't have an order to go in, so. Double-sided tape here, or? Hmm. Put it like right here on the shock tower. That's a pretty good spot, though. Yeah, that might be a decent spot right there. But I might angle it down. No, because I got to be able to play with it. Yeah, so I might put it right there, honestly. And then wrap it through there. Yeah. I could actually start my ground wire right there. We're not about to think about this too hard. So let's get that, uh, that strut tower brace off. Let's hopefully, actually, let's see if this is the right one that's already in my drill. Surprisingly, it is. We gonna mount it later. Let's just get all the coils set up. Uh, boom, just like that. Try my best to hide it later. So, we got it, we got the two step and everything all hooked up now, we just need to run the wiring to get it to turn on. So, most of it's done. I think the way how this is set up now, when it turns on, it's gonna get power from the coils and it's gonna turn a two-step on. But we did this part, we did this part, now we on this part. We're not using a blue and white wire because we don't have, I think, a manual. So, that being said, we're gonna use the straight blue wire and you run that to the switch and then you run a, a ground wire to the switch also. So this right here is supposedly the 12 volt wire. We gotta run it straight to this wire right here, the straight blue wire. I'm gonna try and wire us through here. I wanna say you go straight through here. It didn't actually smash the wire. I need some more wire. We gonna need some more wire. 14 gauge wire. I'll be back. All right, we back from AutoZone. Now I got this switch right here. Cause the ones I ordered, they little, but this would be real nice if I could put this little switch somewhere and just use a double-sided tape. But like these wires, I don't even think this will even work. We go test it, but me personally, I just don't think it's gonna work. I would like to use these little switches cause these are nice. Like you can put these anywhere in the car. But now we got that hooked up. So basically all we gotta do is hook up the um this wire to that and then I gotta use, I gotta put this on a, I gotta connect this to a screw on the side of the engine bay to get a ground. So, yeah. So, um, I gotta connect this, um, I gotta connect the, the ground, the wire to a screw in the engine bay. And I have to connect the positive wire that I ran through the hood right there through the door. It came in through there. We about to just test out the switch cause everything pretty much hooked up. 
We just gotta do this part. All right, so these connectors, if you heat them up, they should shrink, so we about to see. Cramp it together. That was the ghetto way doing this. Held it up to the stove, shrink wrapped it, then crimped it with a hammer. So now what we gonna do is use one of these bolts in the engine bay. I want this one. Does it look like it's already a ground for something? Got the switch and we about to test it out. So hopefully it all turns on. Hopefully I did a good job. So I wanna just put it like 2000 right now just to, just to see. Yeah, we will put it at 2000 just to see. So I'm about to go hook up the battery. Let me show you how we wired this. So I grounded it to this wire right there. And I don't know if you can see it right there. And then we went through the door right there. We got the switch, not practicing, but we about to do a test. We got to turn on the car and everything, but the switch is right here. I got the switch right here. What are you gonna see? Hook the battery back up. And I'll get back to y'all once we about to test it out. First, we gotta see, we gotta turn this long thing on. I think I set it at 2000, so we gonna see. I'm gonna let the car warm up real quick. All right, so we got it. We got it all hooked up, so let's test it out. So I used my Dremel and a drill to get that drill through the back. Pretty clean, pretty clean, in my opinion. Then I also used some shrink wrap to extend the wire. So we got that, we gonna tuck that up in the car. See it's coming through there. And overall to me, it, that's it's like as clean as I could get for me. I think I did a pretty good job in my opinion. Hope this video helps you out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put everything about together. I'm gonna show you what it look like. And make sure when you're doing this installation the whole time, you got the power turned off. But I'm gonna show y'all all what it looked like for the last time. I wasn't gonna show y'all this, but y'all won't believe what I did. I'm so stupid, bro. So the two wires, the ground and the positive, I freaking connected them two together. I supposed to be adding another wire to this to extend the, the, uh, the power. Now I gotta cut this and do it all over again. Man, I did a good job on that too. No wire. You only see the wires right there, but that's under the door. You can't see it, and it's over on my thing. So and that's it right there. Clean installation all together. We turn it up to three thousand. So I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and hear it. I'm gonna go to a spot and set the camera up.
shooting flames, no cap. I put it at 3,000. 